is Crystal. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. Today's video is going to be what's in my hospital bag. So if you're new here, I am currently 37 weeks pregnant. Um, I did just film my what's in my baby's hospital bag. So if you want to watch that, I'll leave that link down below. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to show you guys what I'm taking to the hospital. If you're interested in seeing what I'm taking, then just follow along, okay? This is my hospital bag. It's just um, a ginormous duffel bag. And it's purple. Um, so let's go ahead and just show you what's in it. So there is... Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. So, there is a really big pocket in the middle, and then there's two side pockets and, like, a little pocket right here. So I'm going to start with the side pockets. Um, this is just an old uh, Dean's bag that I've had for years since I was, like, in the sixth grade. And it's big enough, so. So in the first side pocket, I have this bag. And this has all of my toiletries in it, so I'll go ahead and show you guys what's in there. <laughs> so the first thing that's in there is a hairbrush with extra hair ties. I do have um, two hairbrushes, so yes, I have one in my bathroom, and then I'm taking this one with me. And then I have my husband's deodorant, body wash for my husband, um, body wash for me, deodorant for me. And then I do have um, mouthwash, toothpaste, and then toothbrushes. And there are toothbrushes already in here. I bought uh, new, new toothbrushes for us. So that way everything is already packed. So I bought uh, new toothbrushes, new deodorants, and everything. That way everything's ready to go. And we don't have to like search for it, you know, in a rush in case things happen in the middle of the night. And then there is also some shampoo and conditioner in here. This would be for my husband. And then dry shampoo for me because I'm not going to wash my hair at the hospital. Then I have chapstick. This is essential. from. I've watched so many videos of people's what's in their hospital bags. And everybody recommends um chapstick. So, if you guys didn't know, I am a first-time mom. This is my first pregnancy, so this is going to be my first delivery. Um, if you guys watch what's in my baby's hospital bag, you know that my hospital gave me a list of stuff to bring, and I, in that video, I only read off what they told me to bring for, um, the baby. Um, I guess I could tell you guys what they told me to bring, uh, with me for myself and my husband and I, I'll get into that okay so the next thing in there is um, a pack of tissues everybody cries you never know I think I'm hand sanitizer because I want people's hands to be clean before they touch my baby and then also a thing of uh, face wash for me and that is all of the toiletries oh and makeup wipes I don't remember if I showed you guys these but yeah, I'll more than likely have makeup on, so you know, I want to take that off. But yeah, that is everything toiletry-wise that we're bringing. So real quick before I show you guys anything else, and before I forget, I'm going to read what my hospital recommends that we take. If I can find it. Okay, so it says pre-baby for mom. It says... Um, childbirth book from class. I'm not taking that because I didn't take a childbirth class. Insurance card, obviously. Um, healthcare providers, phone numbers, which I don't need to bring those because my hospital already has all that stuff. And it says comfortable clothes like robe and slippers, toiletries, hairband, headband. Oh, I should probably put a headband in there. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> Uh, music, deck of cards, magazine book. We're not going to be taking any of that. I'm taking my laptop so that can entertain my husband. <laughs> um, and then it says sour candy on a stick. Warm socks. Um, one or more items for back massage. 
list of people to contact after birth, which is in my baby's hospital bag, actually. Um, cash or coins for vending machine, camera or video recorder, extra batteries or chargers, favorite pillow with colored cases, and they recommend colored cases because you, the hospitals use white, and so if you use a white pillowcase, the hospital's going to think that's their pillow, and they're going to take it and, you know, wash it so then you won't have your pillow anymore, so that's why they recommend a colored case on it. And it says pre-baby for dad, change of clothes, toiletries, reading material, and snacks. And then it says post-baby for mom, a nightgown or pajamas, baby book, nursing pad and bras, toiletries, clothes to wear home, and sibling gifts, which he doesn't have any siblings since this is my first kid. And um, the baby book is actually in my baby's hospital bag if you saw that, so... So that's what my hospital recommends. Here, so, and the next side pocket that I have, I have a giant bag of Jolly Ranchers. So um, it says hard candy or sour candy on a stick, what they tell you to bring. So this is pretty much the same thing. So I'm taking that. And then I'm also taking um, a mirror in case I want to do makeup. And then another pack of tissues. If you guys watch my um, my what's in my baby's hospital bag, you saw I had tissues in there, and you just saw that I had tissues in my toilet tree bag. So tons of tissues all around. You never know. And then I also have um, a nursing cover in here. I do plan on breastfeeding. Um, so yeah, it just looks like that. And then. Yeah, I don't think I'll use this in the hospital, but I just wanted to bring it just in case. I do have a huge family, and I'm kind of like, I don't want to say shy, but like, I don't want people to see my boobs. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, I figured if there's a lot of people there and I need to nurse him, I don't want to keep like kicking people out, so I'll just throw that on. Okay, and then... Let me zip this up real quick. In this front little pocket right here, I have tons of maxi pads. So I know in the hospital they provide you like the mesh underwear and the pads and stuff. I'm very weird with how stuff feels down there. I don't, I like how certain things feel. So like normally when I'm on a period, I use like the always thin pads. Like, I don't I don't wear maxi pads. But I know when you give birth you have to because you bleed so much. So I figured if I don't like the um, stuff that they're providing at the hospital, I can go ahead and just use my own maxi pads and that way I think I'd feel much better that way. Because I know with stuff like that I get really uncomfortable. And when I'm uncomfortable I'm not in a good mood, so <laughs> That's why I'm bringing that, just in case I don't like the stuff that the hospital provides me. But yeah. So now, moving on to this big pocket. I don't have my husband's clothes in here yet. I still need to pack those. Sorry, I just like hit the camera. But yeah, basically what I'm going to take for my husband, I'm going to pack him a pair of basketball shorts, a pair of sweatpants, two t-shirts, and um, a pair of like actual like jean shorts you know like the kind that guys wear <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say a pair of shorts um a couple pairs of underwear and a few pairs of socks and that's all I'm gonna take for him so it is summer so we don't need like coats and stuff like that but right now the only thing in here of my husband's is his slippers so he'll have those and then whatever shoes he wears to the hospital he'll have those and now moving on Whew. Moving on to my stuff. So the first thing in here is a bandeau. I think that's what these are called. Um, so basically my plan is once I get admitted to the hospital and they make me put on the gown, I don't just want to be completely naked because I know when they... I've watched so many like labor and delivery blog, blogs. Wow. Vlogs. And they like rip, <laughs> they like rip your top down. And I know from watching my sister, I have three older sisters, 
one of them um, gave birth at the same hospital that I'm giving birth at. And so they just kind of like, you know, like you got your whole vagina out there. And then once the baby comes out, they try to like pull your top down some so you can do skin to skin if you want that. I plan on doing skin to skin, so that's why I'm going to take this. That way I can have this under my um, hospital gown so that way when they rip it down, like I have something there. But yeah, I really wanted it in black, but when I went to the store, they only had white, so... That's why I got white. So if it gets dirty, oh well. Who cares, you know. But yeah, I just wanted that so I feel like I have something on and I'm not just, you know, exposed to everybody who's going to be in the room. The next thing that I'm taking is two nursing bras. I got a black one and a tan one. I did get these from Amazon. It was a pack of three. So I'll go ahead and list those down below. I don't know if I'll wear both or not, but... Yeah, they just have the, um, if I can get it, Jesus, oh, hang on, they have the, the clip down, so, figured those would be nice in the hospital since I do want to try and breastfeed, so I have two of those, and then I have this nice robe that I got from Walmart, where's the top, <laughs> there it is, so I like it because it's nice, and long but not too long like it hits the back of my knees even when it's completely closed with my bump so like I can wear it now being nine and a half months pregnant almost and you don't see anything so that's why I really like it and then the sleeves are only three-fourths of a sleeve so they only go down to like my elbow so I really like that so my sleeves won't get in the way of stuff I just figured this would be nice once I'm allowed to like get up and shower and change out of the hospital gown. I figured that would be nice to wear. And then I also got this pajama set from Walmart too. I got these shorts. They're nice and big and I like that. Like they're like not big but like they're long because you know most shorts are like booty shorts nowadays. But these are nice and long and so I like them. And it's very like this is like really soft material. And I just got this nice button down with it so yeah I figured that would be really comfortable to wear and like I could like throw the robe over over top of it too then moving on I'm bringing some nice greeny panties once again from Walmart but yeah they just look like that they're like freaking huge and then the um, last clothing item that I'm taking is this maternity dress so it's just a short dress and then you hey guys you like wrap it and tie it in the back um, and then it's got the three-quarter sleeves again this I'll probably wear home um, but yeah so those are all the clothes that I'm taking and then I'm also taking my slippers and I will be wearing sandals more than likely to the hospital so yeah then I'm also taking um like nursing pads and that's it at my house so the last thing that I'm going to take for myself is a pillow and blanket that I sleep with every night well the pillow that I sleep with every night and then I'm going to take like a soft like fuzzy blanket with me to the hospital um and then I'm going to take one for my husband, too, as well. You know, a pillow and blanket. So he has something to put his head on. Um, then, obviously, we're going to take our phones and, like, chargers for our phones and stuff, too. But we obviously can't pack that right now. Um, so we'll take that. And then if you guys watch what's in my baby's hospital bag, I'm taking my laptop and my charger. So that'll be in the baby's hospital bag because has more room than my bag will once I put my husband's clothes in there um, and then the last thing that I want to show you guys is this bag so this is my camera bag and um, I have just an extra lens in there and then I'm taking the camera that I'm filming with now so hopefully I can record <coughs> the birth of my child. Um, I do have the Nikon D3300 um, 
if I can, I'll link it down below, maybe. Who knows? <laughs> but yeah, so I'll be taking this camera that I'm filming on, um, and that's pretty much it, I think. Besides, he, my husband still needs to get snacks. I told him I'm not buying him snacks. If he wants snacks, then he needs to buy his own, <laughs> so... Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, all my stuff's ready to go. I have my purse with me too, probably. Um, I don't know. I might just take my wallet out when the time comes. Who knows? Who knows how things are going to go. Giving birth can be chaotic at times. Um, so yeah. That's it for what's in my hospital bag. If you guys have any questions or comments of things that you think I should definitely bring, please leave them down in the comments. Um, if you watch what's in my baby's hospital bag, uh, what's in my baby's hospital bag, I cannot speak. If you guys watch any of my videos, I can never speak in them. But yeah, anyways, like I said in that video, I don't know exactly when he's going to come or how big he's going to be. I am measuring ahead, but we'll see how everything goes. Um, so hopefully I can get these videos up and post it before he comes but yeah if you guys have any advice or anything please leave it down in the comments and I can't wait to meet him I'm so excited but yeah that is it for this video where I'm just gonna keep talking so yeah thank you again so 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 much for watching